okay now we will see how uh, do the node editing node editing what for node editing is required is to create a different shapes from the existing vectors okay so suppose uh, there is already one vector is available like uh, we can do any vector no uh, any vector you can take suppose a circle as a vector we take and we can we want to create uh, a circle and uh, then after that if you want to edit this circle and to create a, a different shape then we have to go for node editing there is uh, shortcut keys are there uh, you can uh, press uh, n button or you can just click it here that becomes node editing okay so this is the node editing uh, uh, all the nodes of the particular vector will be shown this, this is in blue color mm, the all nodes and this is the starting point that's the green color is the no, starting point and this is the tangential vectors no you can change the direction and then uh, the shape also can get changed like this so, okay so uh, the, the node editing you can do like this any uh, you can also move this point from one point to another to create something specific okay just want to create something okay so like that if you want to sh you want to create something you can create according to the shape you can change by node editing very easily so in node editing itself uh, maintains smooth curves there is some options available like uh, display midpoint if you are going okay this is showing the midpoint okay if i want this midpoint for some purpose you can use it or maintain smooth curves maintain smooth curve it's a maintaining smooth curve only so automatically uh, it will if it is a smooth curve means we are we th there is no need of the tangential element no if uh, if the tangential element if you are shifting means that a little bit uh, that uh, the automatic smoothness is going actually you see you can just pull it like that so if you are uh, ticking this maintain smooth curve means maintain smooth curve means automatically that tangential things will go off then you can do, then every time you, when you pull it then automatically whatever is there that only it will work you cannot you know, pull it this way okay so it's most of the time we require this and most of the time we require this also the midpoint so we can keep this both uh, uh, this kind of option and this uh, this point also we can change to the midpoint also we can change as the node actually if you click that it, it turn to be a node okay so that way again we can see for every node again one more node will come up like this and also this this is helping and if you want to create an extra node no then what we can do we can keep the cursor on top of this and press uh, uh, button like uh, which button you want to i insert point okay then also if you want to change this point as uh, all our points only one starting point will be there no this starting point is relevant when we are going for uh, machining and 3d then only the starting point is relevant for the time being we are just keeping okay there will, there will be one starting point for every vector uh, so that 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 you can see in the green color all other are normal nodes okay so if you want to insert any node in between you can uh, press i uh, that it will be inserted okay and if you want to change uh, one point to uh, if i am just uh, pressing p so you can see it becomes the start point that particular node becomes start point you just keep the cursor on top of it and press p button okay this becomes the start point so like that you can change the start point also and another one is that uh, as the points are concerned we can also keep the mouse on the top of this and we can press c button no it will cut that point will be cut actually so now you can see a node like here that is the uh, black color node so if you pull it no you can see that it's already cut here okay so that is the way uh, you can cut any element you can cut and delete see i want if i want to cut from here to here 
I can create two points insert it or you can cut it directly C here one C and here on C so these two points got cut and this uh, if you are delete D button it will be deleted uh, delete button it will be deleted okay so that way uh, again I am coming to node editing that way we can do that or if you want to remove the uh, this element in between two nodes there is a uh, command call uh, if you keep the cursor on top of this and pressing the R button it will be removing between these two nodes the span will be removed so that is the remove span okay can be black color means it is not smooth so this all options what I just explained to you you can get it by just placing the cursor on top of one line or one node okay one node and right click it then it will give okay if you want to delete that node D button smooth yes cut means C so three things can happen here okay if you uh, again node uh, this uh, if you keep the cursor on top of the node and if you put C the point will cut from there okay control set then if you put yes smooth becomes non smooth another uh, non smooth becomes smooth now this is smooth the blue color is smooth if you want to put if you put again it's become black it, be, it becomes a sharp point not a smooth point okay then cut smooth then one more is delete if you if you don't want this point here then you can keep that and put the D button press the D button see that node is gone so automatically the shape has pulled away from that node because node only is the as an anchor point it's just pulling the uh, code uh, pulling the vector and keeping on that place so if node is not there automatically the shape of the object also changes okay vector the shape of the vector also changes so this is the uh, uh, different options available in node editing uh, if you keep the cursor on top of the line okay between two nodes no you can just see what all are there see uh, first I will uh, explain you uh, if you put uh, keep the cursor in between two nodes and press the L button it becomes a line straight line see and if I am putting a button it becomes an arc this become an arc like a see this become an arc and if I uh, keeping the S yes button it becomes it becomes smooth polyline it becomes smooth polyline suppose any mistake I am doing S yes. just see okay sorry it is not S yes. it is B okay so it becomes like a spline B spline the air curves like that we are calling it the B so this is all B curves okay now we can make it arc and we can make it line so L A and B okay you can make three options in between two nodes so okay you can define the vector in three ways one is line one is as an arc one is as an B spline okay so uh, in node editing that much is fine I think uh, this is line arc if you want to remove the span uh, remove span already shown you span you can remove it C means cut and I means insert a node M means if you want to insert a middle no, middle point separately if you want to do then you can do that is the middle point okay so this is the uh, different options available in node editing so that with this we can create different shapes okay any shapes you can create out of this because so uh, some common shapes are not available in the basic vector command you can create it using the uh, node editing you can pull the nodes delete the nodes add the nodes accordingly you can create uh, you can edit that vector to create a different shape okay now we will see the transform vector how we suppose now I created a circle okay I created the circle 
uh, create now I didn't give any value here uh, so okay I just created and leave, left it later I can also come here and change the size with another command known as T transform if you just press T or you, you can see here this one is the transform command so if you press it transform command one time uh, see this is how many times you can press this is one time you select it click one time so it's automatically uh, coming okay one time if you clicking then the template also coming here also the notes also coming so okay so this one uh, you can change the size the width and height and all now we can change it now you need not be so bothered about the initial stage itself once we create one once we are creating uh, the circle that time also if you are not giving you can give it here now it is 23 means 23 mm 23 dia circle it became okay here also you can also compress it like that width uh, you can reduce it height also you can increase or something like that if you don't want the don't want to maintain a ratio aspect ratio like if i undo this thing uh, maintain uh, aspect ratio i removed and if i am just giving this is as 30 apply means now you can see it becomes like an ellipse so oh, height has increased width has maintained that's it so oh, this is the thing now also we can position it actually if I want to move the center point to this center point then that value if I am going to the 0 0 it will go and place it in the 0 0 0, zero button apply 0 0 button it will be applied ok and uh, uh, you can also move it if I want to move its incremental value like that is 10 mm I want to move it right means add an angle 10 mm it will move to the right side ok L minus 10 means it goes to the left side and also you can rotate it anti-clockwise and clockwise whatever the way you can rotate it 12 uh, or whatever degree you can rotate it and control set I am do that all these things so this way we can go to the transform command one more uh, was there left with that is shear actually shear means just uh, pulling to one side actually this is 12, 12 degree it just pull see this like this is in the width side if it in height side also if you want to uh, share it then you can give some value in 12 see this side also so like this you can change the shapes using the transformation command okay hope that you understood thank you